I don't understand why they didn't explain what happened to the shield killer. They were just so hesitant. It's not like if they confess to killing a bunch of people, they're going to get in trouble. Like, he's a serial killer. They, they're they technically serial killers, too, since they killed a bunch of people. They didn't want to, but they did. So that makes them serial killers with how many people they killed. Um, and get this. Um, they kill the guy right there on the cover. They kill his brother. And all they say is the word sorry and he just leaves opens the door and leaves and then the cop that they thought they killed they set him free and then they let him torture the serial killer And he just lets them get off scot-free, even though they tried to kill him. So, yeah, very different movie. Not much happens. Some guy breaks in their house just by walking through the wall because he has abilities is how he describes it they kill him in self defense apparently they have a troubled past they won't go into it though they won't give us any details so they're not allowed to tell the police or anything then later Jerry just keeps bothering them so then they're forced to kill him too and then later, when they're trying to go get rid of the bodies, the cop wants to look in his trunk, and he finds stuff. So then she comes behind him and smacks him in the back of the head. Super hard. Blood sprays on the other character's face. That's why they thought he was dead, but apparently he's alive. then that's about it just killing people they also go get a package with a very weird scene just like this guy gets mad that he's looking at him it's not like there's a lot to do he's just waiting to grab a package so he starts threatening him with a gun but then the, he starts explaining how the Glock is actually a grenade launcher. It's just very weird. It's definitely not the best. But it wasn't necessarily bad. It's kind of a waste of time. Just not much happens in it, so... Not really much to look forward to.